So you want to win an NCAA championship. Some think it's easy, and on paper, maybe it is. Just win the next six games in a row, and you've reached your goal. But as Dickie B is going to tell you, these are the toughest six games to play. And you'll see that in today's game between the Akron Zips and the Radford Highlanders. Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Highlanders might be in over their heads in this one, Dick. Absolutely. Here are some things that they have to do if they're going to have a chance to win. Number one, take care of the ball on offense and play aggressive perimeter defense. Secondly, if you win the glass, baby, and you'll own the boards, you'll win the game. Lastly, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action, see what's in store for us. They get that projected. It's a block party out there. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He's got to pass it or make a play, Brian. Gave it up, looking for a screen on top and got it. Get out of the way, baby. That was absolutely sensational. Moving it around the perimeter. Way out on top, controlling the ball. And in and out. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I think he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Number 31 goes to the line for the first time. Misses the first. Need to make that. Number 11 takes the feed. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. The center with the ball. Kicks it out. The ball goes out of play. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Number 11 takes the pass. Number 11 is feeling great right now. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. The shooting guard gets the pass. Buried it. Down inside. There's a double team waiting there. High post screen. So effective that screen. They go into the low block. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. From left of the circle, off the rim and no good. Trying to feed the low block. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. My goodness, players these days in their athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I tell the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Up it inside. The shooting guard gets the ball. Now trying to feed the low block. He's going to muscle it on the inside. Scores it, and he's fouled. So and one opportunity here. One shot. He sinks it.
Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Try to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. Can't get the shot to go. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. If he keeps this up, he may collapse. His teammates must pick it up. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Looking for a good shot. You can't be that aggressive. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. He makes it. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. the other way get a layup for two goes in great steal I think the pressure was just too much tremendous pressure just enough to force the steal our three-prong attack tonight ladies and gentlemen I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline block from behind Dick yeah that's good timing for the defense he puts it in with contact and all See if they've decided to go in another direction with things right here, Dick. It wouldn't kill them to get a little diversity in their play right now. On the dribble, gives it up. He tries the three ball. Off the mark. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Gave it up and work it into a double team on a post. There they are on the low block on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. Great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. On the dribble, gives it up. He looks at the hoop. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. I wish somebody would knock down a jumper. Man, that guy had 1,400 on his board. And look at him running out there like a wacko. Oh, man. Look at that wacko. <laughs> Terrific block shot, though. He's a dominator blocking shots on the interior. Step out on that screener. Doesn't go. Here's the three ball. Way off target. This zone really makes it difficult to get off a good perimeter shot, Dick. That's the way it's going up. No easy looks. Coach looks on. Focused. A lot of intensity. A lot of emotion. Gave it up for the bucket. Akron is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. <laughs> On 
on the dribble, gives it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Stolen away. Fast break opportunity here. Tries for two. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Unloads, sinks the shot. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling out here and turns it over. He drains the shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with that block shot. And they come up with a steal. He telegraphed that pass. <laughs> Gave it up. High post screen, gonna use it. Let's it fly. Good second effort to come up with the rebound. That's a seven nothing one. On the dribble, gives it up. He puts up the three ball. He gets the shot to fall. There's the screen up on top. Goes up for two. In and out. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from long range. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. In the paint. Looking for the foul. Side. Gave it up. Nice fake. Got Here a nice it. screen. Jumps into the defender. Gets the rebound. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. Number one with the foul. First personal foul. Young man, be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Down in the low block, trying to work inside. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. Thanks, Aaron. Both free throws go. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. He blocks the shot. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Launches away. Off the rim and no good. They 
go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense not allowing them to make that turn. Bradford are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Yeah, they're really starting to put them off there. Pushing that basketball, help one another communicate. Number 54, pump fakes. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. For the bucket, he gets the bucket to fall. Let us show you the replay on that one. by the D. I love it. Intercepted. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love him. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He'll visit the charity strike. He hits his first. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. And he got them both. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Tries for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Goes up for two. And he missed. Defensively try to stay with his man, and he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside, and they attack him aggressively. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Number 33 is called for the foul. Fifth team foul. Momentary look from three-point land. The ball goes out of bounds. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. The shot from the baseline. Way off target. Turns it over for two. Can't get the shot to drop. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. Hey, Brad, a stop here will definitely raise the decibel level. Look at that spacing. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Running right at the screen again. What did I say? They'd like to get it inside to the low block. 
unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Gave it up. He fakes the shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Stop and pop. Off the rim and no good. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. I love this guy hook. He cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brown, why don't more guys use it? Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. For the bucket. Perfectly executed. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Great anticipation defensively. Number 33 is down emotionally right now, Dick. Brad, I see a young man who's struggling at both ends of the court. Frustration right there. Working it around the perimeter. Picked off. Tries for two. Akron have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Transition opportunity coming up. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. They're working around the perimeter. From left of the circle. This guy's not looking for anybody else out there. You're right, Brad. He's got a little too much to prove right now. With the fake. Control of the ball. Stolen away. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely. Academy Award at its best. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He shields himself from the screen and scores the basket. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. At the free throw line. He hits the first. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. That's a nylon, NBN. Double team now, bad angle. Number one with the steal. Sets the screen for his teammate. He goes for three. 
Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Brad, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy they want shooting the ball. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. For two, they still don't score. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. At the end of the first half, the Highlanders are down by eight. Well, it's been a close one so far, Dick Vitale. What's your take on the play of the half? There were some good highlights in that first half, but you got to look at this one. Watch how they got the ball inside for easy scores, which forced the defense to collapse, opening up the perimeter game. Well, let's head back down to the court for the start of the second half. Bradford allowed the ball to be taken away a lot in that first half, partner. Not so much taken away, but given away. If you can't take care of the rock, you're not going to win many games. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. Picks off the pass. That's a high post screen. Goes to the lane. And the ball goes out of bounds. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He can't get the J to go despite running off the nice screen. Looking for a good shot. There's the pick. Trying to draw some contact. There they come with a double team to stop it. He dials long distance. He makes the shot. Dick at defense looks tired. Hey, that's no excuse. They've got to dig down deep and get the job done. On the outside, the center handles the feed. With the block, the ball goes out of play. The shooting guard receives the ball, knocks it down. The center handles the pass. He shoots from left to the circle, can't put it down. On the outside, he shoots. Off the rim and no good. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. He shoots from the elbow. He gets it to go. Dump it inside. Dumps it in on the inside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Takes it off him. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player.
there's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. the perimeter he gives him the fake goes up for two gets it to go we didn't see that again Brad Spacing that's so important to a good offensive set. Let's go. He gets the rejection. The fans start to chant. Who says there's no such thing as a home court advantage? <laughs> Takes the pass in the paint. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Bradford are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Fakes it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. This, Mr. Nestler, he has a little something for the opposition. That to me is a no no. Moving it around the perimeter, fakes it. High post screen. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and you talk about a happy group of fans. Listen to this crowd. Oh, there's all kinds of people standing and cheering and going wacky. Way out on top, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The shooting guard receives the pass. It'd be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. Hey, if it wasn't for his play, that'd be in big trouble, Brad. Someone else needs to step up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. He pulls down the rebound. The fake. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. For two. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Looking to move it around the perimeter. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Puts it up. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. On the dribble, gives it up. Jump hook from the low block. In and out. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet. It's a human eraser. I love shot blockers. They add such a dimension to your team. Up and inside. For the bucket. Drops the bucket despite the harm. <laughs> oh. 
tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Great play to take that to the basket. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Number 54 picks up the foul. Third personal foul. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. Oh, clinical drop step. I tell you, clinic 101 on how to utilize the drop step from the low post. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. From a different area, Cole. He couldn't get it to fall. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Gave it up. Gets it back out. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Look at that spacing. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, after all, this is the NCAA Finals. In talking with both coaches before the game, they figured it would be a close game from start to finish. I'm certainly looking forward to the game's ending. All right, thanks, Aaron. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Ten on the shot clock. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. And off the mark. <laughs> Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Looking for a good shot. He shoots from the top of the key. No good. They work it around the perimeter. He gets the rejection. Working it around the perimeter. There's the pick. There's the roll. And a 
had a momentary look from three-point land. Went away from the post and goes the other way. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. It's stolen. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. Here's a double team. High post screen. So effective, that screen. He shoots from the top of the key. Rims out. Up and inside. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good close position. So he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. to the line it goes in they have found their stroke at the strike tonight Dick this has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch looking for a good shot fake Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, post block. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Off the rim and no good. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. The bucket counts and one. Hey, great composure to take the foul and still get the shot off. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Up and inside. For the deuce. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Steals the pass. He puts up the tray. He drains the shot. Goes up for two. And he scores despite the hack. In the paint. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Jumped in front to take it away. Gave it up. Number 21. Basket's good, and he got a little charity for his effort. Hey, he did a good job of keeping himself under control despite the foul. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. Dribble gives it up. He tries the three ball. Buried it. Good fake. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. He rejects it. We're going to move it around the perimeter. The defender right on the 
this hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I'll tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Takes away the pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. From left to the circle. He hits it. They're working around the arc. Unloads a three. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. He intercepts it. Post flasher is open. Guns up the deep one. Rims out. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. That one there should have been a foul call, I think. Well, you take a look right there. I thought there was contact ground on a defensive player. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For two, too much contact there. It knocked him off balance a little. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Now the high screen, rejected. Oh, baby, he showed and telegraphed that baby. Ball down low, puts it on the floor. Turn around and fade away. I'd say great footwork, too, to create that opportunity. And then he's got the touch. What an offensive play. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them gap. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. Takes the pass in the paint. There's the trap. And they get the turnover. He'll take it the other way. On the outside. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. Looking for a good shot. He takes the shot. That's an ill-advised shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Brad and Dick with limited time remaining. The coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. I think she's right about that, Richie. And let's go back out onto the floor. The lead is six. Hey, a tray here in this place will go absolutely bananas, Brad. I can feel it. From downtown, he buries the shot. Squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Here we go on the break. For the bucket. The land. Now 
that's a matter of clock management, isn't it, Dick? And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. And yet another foul. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. And the clock stopped with a foul. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. The shot clock is dead. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. Well, Dick, there's a look at the foul situation. Well, you know, Brad, a lot of times the first team to the bonus will get the advantage. That means they're playing aggressive basketball. It means they get to the charity strike quicker and have an opportunity to rack up some easy points. Second one is good. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. You never know what's coming, Brad. They shave the lead down to three. There's a lot of time to pull this one out, Brad. Timeout charge. Hey, can we get a drummer on Mr. Nestler? This one's going down to the last ticks, baby. Start again. Brad, I'm afraid to hear this crowd. If they can get a stop on this possession. There's the screen up on top. Picked off. He shoots from half court. No good. This one is going to overtime. And the fans aren't going anywhere. They're here for the duration, baby. At the end of regulation, these teams are tied. NCAA tournament, and we're in overtime. Two evenly matched teams. They played well throughout. Extra session coming up, Richard. You can't ask for more than this. I'll tell you one thing. The excitement's unbelievable. The place is rocking and rolling. It's survive and advance. And you better make big plays right now. You better get momentum on your side in the OT. He goes for the trifecta. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside troopers. They've got to attack inside and then out. They work the perimeter. The crowd loves this young man. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. He goes for three. He comes up empty. He launches the bomb. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Intercepted. Five-second count winding down. And now they'll bring it up. Rims out.
problem with that when you front. If you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see Brawl Man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. For the deuce. Perfectly executed. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He takes the three. They're having a rough time getting them to drop, Brad. They should take it to the basket and get some easy hoops. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. it around the arc Little got a nice over. screen goes up for two he brings it down fronts him first dick and then works behind yeah he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him. swatted from behind never saw him coming brad working it around the perimeter he shoots from outside he kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the street jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Now they're into it. That's got some people out of their seats. What a reaction, Brad. The fans are loving it. That bucket cuts the lead to one. I told you there was a lot of time, Brad. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Time out on the floor. Aaron Andrews, what do you got for us again? Well, guys, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their teams down. With this much time remaining, they're stressing play smart basketball and take care of the ball. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Might be a change in the game plan right now, Dan. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. Got the high pick. He attempts the trifecta. Timeout. Hey, these kids are driving me crazy, Brad. This game is too close. I'm starting to sweat, baby. Oh, the pressure. Back to the live action we go. They cut the lead to two. Hold on to your seat, Mr. Nestler. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. For two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Players got a much needed breather with that timeout. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. I 
Okay, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He fires from long range. They have to foul to put them on the line and hope they miss. Dick, you've said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. The Highlanders open the tournament with an impressive first round victory. Winning that game was so important. A big first win not only keeps the team's championship hopes alive, but does wonders to calm these kids' nerves enter in the second round. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along.